Hey YouTube, it's Jake from Everything Cool Unboxing here. I'm going to do a review of a knife that I unboxed the other day. I'm going to get it open here for you. It is called a, it is a knife by Columbia River and River Knife and Tool com Company. And uh, you can see that their logo there, CRKT. Let me look at sticks. Let me a little stats about the knife here. It's a three and a half inch blade, a one and a half inch serrated. All together with a handle, I believe it's nine inches. Don't back me up on that. I'm, it's an, I'm guessing that's what it is right now. Let me zoom out so you get a full picture of it. Okay, let's flip it over here. I'll tell you what it is now. See if I can just focus there. Okay, it's a, it is a, a CRKT M1613 FS SFG. And uh, you can see below here, I can get zoomed in here. There's a model number underneath there. That's all it is. And you can see I've used this for a couple weeks now. And you, like you can start seeing scuff marks on here, but I might actually just be some dust. Let me see if I can brush it off. Yeah, it's just some dust. But yeah, you can see I've been using it because you've been seeing some scuff marks. But that's one thing I gotta talk about later. Uh, let me start the review now. Uh, this knife, I would say, is actually very high quality. I was afraid from the get-go by the blade. That serrated is so sharp that it might actually be, get dull after a while. And it, surprisingly, it really did not at all. It was very still sharp. I'm afraid to actually do that because it's so sharp. I will probably on the end show you like how good at cutting it says, like get a piece of cardboard and easily cut it. But next thing you see is my hand, the handle, and the handle the, in the last model I had. It had all these holes that still in there, so it was a big piece of steel that you're pretty much lifting. Right now, it's still got some good hefty weight. It feels durable, not going to break or anything, but right now, this knife, before, before it, never had those holes in it or anything, so I was it was very back heavy, so it may be kind of annoying just to uh, carry around and stuff. Another little good thing about it is you see this carrying handle, handle down here. You can unscrew this and put it on the bottom, on the other side, and up here as well. And um, that's one thing I like that they've actually allowed. So I don't know if it was just for weight purpose or you can actually just put the switch the handle if you felt like it. Let me zoom back out here. Next thing I loved about this knife is just that um, this little auto lock system here. I kind of liked and kind of hated. It. It's a love-hate sort of thing. Like sometimes you get annoyed because you can't really open it with one hand. See it, and I'll get to you right here, like, you're supposed to technically engage this by pulling that down, but about a week of having this knife, this auto lock thing feels like a crap. Uh, I think I might have actually bent it when I pulled it down, like held it down too hard or something like that. Open that back up there. So you can see that it did not engage when I opened it up there. And actually I would have to push it, for now I have to push it up if I want to engage it. See? Now you see that little metal thing there. Now I can't move it anywhere. It's over. Push it back down. It's gone. See, it's technically what I was supposed to when I write when I open it. It's supposed to engage automatically, and it doesn't. You can see you can still close it. If I can get it with one hand, there, my left hand. There we go. I can close it. But it's kind of annoying. But that they use such a cheap of a metal. It's like a little tiny, tiny piece of metal in there. I'm gonna get focus here. There we go. Uh, you can see there's a little tiny piece of metal in there that just barely holds it. I'm pretty sure I pulled it down and bent it so it didn't re-engage because there's like a little spring in there that supposed to make supposed to re-engage it right when you open it. I think that got bent. So I think there's a little problem that but kind of angers me. That's what it's gonna give me a lower rating of what I'm gonna give it on the end. And another thing I had to complain about is you can see that this handle here. As it is, it's strong, but it is very, very hard to freaking uh, put on your pocket. It's kind of annoying when you try to rip it out of your pocket or something like that. It, it can barely get off, and it's very hard to put it back on. You can see it's flush with the handle right there. I think I better focus there. Gosh. There we go. Yeah, it's a very... My friend, he said that if you put like a few, few quarters underneath there, it'll, it'll pretty much lift it up a little bit so you can put it on your pocket easier. But I really don't want to do that just because I'm worried that it might slip out or something. But heck, it might be a better idea because it's been annoying for me. 
<laughs> yeah, but I guess they're not for the reason I would probably give on this knife is, uh, I want to say, probably about an eight out of ten, maybe even maybe eight and a half out of ten, because it's very very durable and very sharp knife. So like for me to do an unboxing, this thing's gonna be able to cut through cardboard easily. That's gonna be I'll be able to cut through plastic. Well, pretty much any knife will do that. But any, uh, having a good knife will actually help. And I've I've actually been using this thing around a lot. Like, what? Well, see, my for example, a few of my friends thought it'd be funny to zip tie a backpack, backpack shut. So I've been letting this out to friends, saying, "Hey, here, cut it open" or something like that. And they've had no problem just cutting a zip tie open. So, and I've been using that off and on at school and stuff like that. But also, it's just been, it's been really good use around the house. Just saying, like I didn't even I haven't had to like cut. I've had to cut cardboard boxes open or something like that. It's been working really well, so that's why I gave it eight out of ten, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, but I would recommend this to any one of you, and if you want to look at it, uh, I'll have a link in the description below, below, and then, um, and also have an annotation in the corner or something for um, my on the unboxing of it. So I can focus here. And also, please rate. Oh wait, one second. I actually have to do a. Uh, there's a flip open and a cut test of this here to show how good it actually is. So I'm going to cut so I can get a better better focus on this trick. Okay, you can see here I got myself readjusted for the flip test. And that's just why I'm going to open up the knife and pop it open and see how good it actually this, the ball bearing in this is. Because it's not spring assisted. So oh, you can see I got it open pretty easy there. Just a little flick of the wrist and a little finger and nodge. And yep, pretty good. You got two for two there. And now I'm going to do a little cut test. So I can see I can grab, I can grab a piece of cardboard, so I'll be right back. Okay, you can see here I got a, a cardboard box for my skull candy uh, skull crushers I have here. Now I just got a knife, I'm just going to cut through, just gonna flatten this out and cut it through right here. And I'm not using really any force, I'm just pretty much just straight out cutting it side by side here. And I, I got that through that pretty easily. Let's see if I'll, I can just do it from the normal thing. And I'm not really using the serrated much, now I'm going to try to use the serrated only. And you see it cut like butter pretty much. This, this box isn't really a good example of how good to cut it, but just for like normal unboxing like I'm going to be doing, this knife is going to be doing great. And it, I feel like it's going to be lasting forever. This knife is, I might have to sharpen it maybe like a year or two, but... I'm, this is going to be the one of the knives that I'm going to have to sharpen like once a month like some of my other friends knives so uh, if you like this video please like rate and subscribe and um, uh, if you have any questions of where you get this I'll have a link in the description for the Amazon posting so uh, stay tuned for more and please like rate and subscribe again uh, it would really help me uh, just to get more popular out there so I can get more viewers and um, please sh uh, share and I also have a blogger down and I'll have a link in the description for that also so please check it out and I'll have all my latest videos up there and um, thanks for watching see ya